Hey guys, how are you doing? So as you see, hanging out again with Sebastian. How are you guys doing? Stop by to finally pick up his missing beauty. Where is it? Uh, it's right here. Oh. So are you ready? Yeah, the, the Marshal. He was anxious to get this blade. One of his favorites, no? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, second, second after this. <laughs> Man, people got kicked out of that the, the birthday video. Some asshole yeah. made it. It was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> it was cracking up. I this was, is such a beautiful I was high line. In coffee. <laughs> high in coffee. Man. And I, I have my El Marshall here. He's got the baby recently, so congrats brother. Congrats, brother. He made nice. He's doing good man. He I does. like he, he even does. got the he did the, he showed some Kydex work lately. And uh, he's, he's getting it down. I really like his uh, that little. I don't know how we call it drop point knife. No, it's actually very similar to my to my EDC, but he has different handle. But the blade shape is almost identical. It's just nice, very, and he has a bigger handle on his knives. Did you see those? Yeah. He calls it drop point. It's almost same blade, but the handle is a little bigger, and they're just great utility knife. I hope he's gonna be doing more of them. I think those will be great, great sellers for I him. I like when he makes the wicked style, like the fighting knives. And oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I like him there. You make it good with the knives. Yeah, that, this was like one of his first designs, this blade, and it's just cool looking, very secure, warm clave, you know, like self defense. That's what, he's, like, that's what he wants to do. Yeah. He's like, he's on into it, he studies, he's doing the martial arts. So it's pretty cool. Man, what else is here? Sebastian brought some crazy stuff. Where is the lastly Sabo? <laughs> that one is in... Where is the... Oh, here. <laughs> Look at this. He traded this recently and... I mean, I've seen this knife when it came out. There was a lot of people had the videos. And everybody says that it's big, but you don't really know how big the knife is until you actually hold it in the hand. And this is gigantic. This is such a beast. Really cool. I really like some of his work. I, I remember a long time ago when I visited his website first time. He makes some beautiful, beautiful knives. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a oriented. Hungarian yeah. custom knife maker. Exactly. You have the Bali song also from him, yeah, the Spider Co Bali song. You know, I'm I'm Koromis Hungarian. Oh, you are, yeah. yeah, yeah. From what? From other side, other side. From other side. Yeah. yeah. Actually, my last name is Hungarian. So. You know, Slovakian hates Hungarians. Yeah. <laughs> <It's Hungarian. laughs> I'm kidding. No, they actually did ever like big fights in the in the past. No, no don't stab me now with that. <laughs> A lot of people get too hung over for the for the history. It's I always found it funny. This is just look at that. <laughs> Two of my hands. I wanted to get it because actually I have the the belly song. Yeah, it is. Actually, so they're just to match it. And actually, this folder is bigger than than the belly. It's a very interesting design in that in the compression lock. It actually has like a stop in there. It goes over. The compression like goes over it, and then it has some kind of spring that works like a detent of the blade. Sucks interesting, in the blade, yeah. yeah. Interesting blade, and it has that carbon fiber is actually really cool looking. It's that kind of you know fake one. It's a G10, and then just one layer of carbon fiber, but it does have really cool look to it, and it actually is like textured. It has that like little bumps on it, like a. It would be probably considered fine texture when you talk G10, the POPI G10. It would be probably something like fine, but it's nice. Beautiful made knife. These are stainless steel lines, do you know? Or yeah, are they titanium? I think it's stainless, stainless steel. steel. Actually, for how big it is and how thick the stock is, it's not that heavy at all. No, not that heavy. It has big holes in the, in the liners. It's actually pretty light for how huge this knife is. It grew on me, like I, I was kind of not sure it grew on me, but I can't mm. carry it really much. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 it will be kind of hard to... Officer, I'm, uh, it's, uh, I uh, it's spread, my, my, spread my cream cheese on the bread with this. <laughs> I eat my steaks in the restaurants with this. When we go to, what is it, Peter's? Peter Luger. Peter Luger. <laughs> I don't know if you guys, you probably didn't see it was on Instagram, but when we went to Peter Luger with, with uh, Sebastian on his birthday, I mentioned the video that we are going for a steak. He was eating steak with this and I was eating my steak with one of my, uh, back then I had that uh, buoy EDC. <laughs> it was funny. Nobody really cared, the waiter was laughing at us though. <laughs> oh guys, gotta tell you, Jeremy Crames, 
go check out his website he makes some amazing beautiful looking knives I was amazed when I seen it it is definitely one of the knife makers I want to get one more knife from like they are, I heard that they are expensive but just insane insane work beautiful beautiful he's an artist yeah like just some crazy stuff and such a such a attention to details like you know he puts like little balls here on the spine he like in like press it's almost like a detail ball but he presses them into the spine and then there's like a little decoration holes around in different places and they're anodized you know everything is silent but you have actually blue anodizing inside the holes just like really cool Gotta be a lot of work, a lot of steps. Like if I think about it now, you have a titanium liner that is exposed, and to actually do that, you have to analyze the whole thing, and then actually do the whole finish again, like uh, sand everything else except the little holes, and he's doing it multiple times on all different areas of the blade and the pocket clip. Man, what is this? Is the, the uh, guys. polder guys? Yeah, Gakino, you got that Gakino, recently. Something like. Yes, some cool knives. I've seen the fixed blades once in a while on the on the on USN. A lot of people are not. That's my his his New folders are carry. yeah. His folders are selling like hotcakes, no. But the, I see often that the little fixed blades. A lot of people on USN are not too into fixed blades. But they go. They go. Yeah. This is another cool blade Sebastian got recently, to go along with his big one. The big one is Hisu. His Hisho. Hisho? Yeah. This and is Sakimori. Sakimori. And then you got the the folder to go along with yeah. the family. Yeah, the old James Williams design. Otanashi. That's the name? Otanashi? Otanashi no Kenny. Silent so Sword. I, I could never say that. <laughs> yeah, this one is very interesting because it has really super strong lock. And it's a fi fighting knife, so it has stainless steel frame. And... Uh, really strong detail because the spring is like the lug is sprung really hard but it's so smooth actually even for how strong it is very very smooth knife and I'm not a big fan of CRKT but I gotta say what they do with these fixed blades the issue and this one the Sa Sakimori it's just beautiful look at that look at that Landlord calling. It's really it's like a nice neat. zero grind on that. Yeah, one, zero two grind. Steel. Nice hand drop side and finish. And the handle feels really good. Oh yeah, the wrap is really nice and it's like nice and beefy, Great, very comfortable. It provides a lot of grip on the side. What else is here? Sebastian's second blade, that one that uh, he yeah, it's more Jeff, Jeff, Jeff finished did more than me. But beautiful beauty I really love this it's so comfortable in the hand it has such a nice grips you know up front it's, we said that it's similar to it's your Jimbo but I like this better than your Jimbo the way these little nibblets are the, like the thumb rams the up front and then the choke up ones a lot nice a lot better than on your Jimbo it's beautiful work Jeff did the nice work on the on the grind and on the handle but Sebastian designed the knife and it's perfect Sebastian put the edge on it Oh yeah, and it's sharp. And it's it gonna is make the sharp. Sheet, hopefully. Yeah, I did this one today. Did another tough nose with the black OD and ten G10 bead blasted, nice and very comfortable, beefy handle. Very, very nice. I, I, I think that. I have to thin this grind a little bit. It's it's nice and thin, but it's not as thin as I like on on the knives. So I think I will have to go back to the grinder a little bit for it. But kind of happy it came out nice around that spine again. The grind looks nice, but again, I will have to. I love the handle on that one. I think lately. Yeah, it's nice colors. Finally, I got some new colors in today from Alpha Knife Supply. Got some natural stuff, some coyote. Uh, I got forest green, OD green, and some other stuff. A lot of handle materials. Got this also. Some of you guys seen it already on Instagram. The Texture Tech. It's like titanium, some other, t some different weird type of titanium. It actually anodizes hard, but it's that thing what you've seen on this Bavida man. He has it on those bolsters, and I didn't actually realize it until I actually got this that it is the same exact stuff. He made the bolsters out of it. They sell all different. They actually have a couple different 
more like uh, textures, like different designs. It's not cheap, it's pretty expensive. And I pay 55 bucks for this little piece. Yeah. That's, that's expensive, but my plan is to do uh, this also for EDC as a handle. There's like the nice design. For the I think it's ones? gonna be yeah, for the small one. It should be just enough if I cut it in half. Can make two. It's gonna be pretty cool, no? Like the yeah. whole handle. It's gonna give a good grip. Yeah, I'm not big on bolsters, so I'm not gonna do bolsters. Do you gonna put any liners underneath or? I don't know. I guess I'll do it and see how it feels. Like a nice little thin neck knife and just contour the edges. But if it will need the liner, I will probably just put the thin titanium liner underneath it. And maybe that would be actually cool to do titanium liner and you would have steel and let's say gold anodized titanium and then this blue. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. You'll see. I hope it's not too hard to work with because you know you have uneven one side so it's gonna be kind of tricky to drill the holes and all that stuff. But we'll see. Gotta, gotta experiment. What else is new? Sebastian's birthday gift from, from Jeff. Jeff. His war toad. Really like this one. This is like a nice elegant sleek look but then you have those little just a little hint of grooves on the bottom and same on the titanium side. Really like it. Damascus pocket clip. And you see like the grooves Very going into pretty. the pocket. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that on the video before. Really nice these things. So it's funny because they look so funky and chunky but they actually feel fit in everybody's hand like perfect. Great, I guess everybody, I don't know if yeah. everybody, everybody, hand, but yeah. Good. Just like everything is right there. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's and supposed it's like to. It's like you have such a secure grip, not gonna go forward, not gonna go yeah. anywhere. It's like and it's not gonna close on you, even if you don't have the hand on top because of that thick finger chole here. It's really neat. And what else? Any knives upcoming that you like? Oh, Sebastian did this. You have anything in coming that you're no, looking forward really. to? Not right now. I know. Bob get me excited about his <laughs> the Strider, the Strider, the custom Strider, but nothing. That yeah, that's that's a pricey one. Yeah, it's it's a pricey Sebastian one. Sebastian did this. He's like, oh, it's not perfect, and this and that. I think it's beautiful. I like it. I really like Actually, it. The, the These were just like like contour, no, like straight contour. Yeah, no, it was just like original. A, a little, and then I stone washed it. Yeah, finally he's stone washed. Finally, it's not sharp. Until now, he was actually flipping with this sharp, <laughs> crazy guy. He's good with his knives. He can flick bali so uh, regular knives like some people can flick bali songs. I told you guys no a while back when he made that video, <laughs> the crazy one, when we were flicking with that yeah. uh, Z with the ZT three hundred. I think so. No, that was yeah, three hundred. Yeah, the It was crazy video. Oh yeah, good. Yeah. Luckily, yeah, it's it's, luckily it's dual. It's <laughs> I just closed it on my fingers. I don't know which one is safe. You yeah. never know. Jeff was excited about the dragon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sebastian was laughing because Jeff wanted to dragon spine all of his knives. He, yeah, he got I like it. It does look nice. I don't know why dragon spine, but it, I do like it. it. It does do the little... I think, I think like Mick, a, Mick Strider does on some of the Striders and he called it dragon spine oh, or something right. like that. And then it's on the... <laughs> so what can you do with them now? Are you good with the battle songs? No, not yet. No, I just actually I get in the battle like two weeks ago. So. And Sebastian did the new experiment. The new experiment. Yeah. Look at that black. <laughs> did you came? The best, I like the it. The best pimp job ever. Yeah, I think some people will be like, uh, "What is that?" I actually you don't know like it. Happen, it. Like, yeah, like you know I what? I would like orange. Orange or blue. Only thing is, they should start selling the custom scales. Black and, black and the blue scales. or black and orange would be really Spider nice. Spider could make tons of money if they were just making different colors, just plant like uh, scales for paramilitary tools. I think too. they're making tons of money already. But everybody would buy a set of scales. Even if just regular G10 but different colors, everybody would buy them. Yeah. Paramilitary is like that's one knife that they cannot keep in stock. Everybody loves paramilitary. That's true, it's like actually. I can, I can in, find. I was looking they for always one. sell out instantly. It's their most popular model. And I do believe that it's the best knife they make. Just perfect. 
they would they would make bang if they start doing like all different handle scales for the paras price them well it's probably not that expensive for the company to make that would be awesome i would love it but that's what they do the sprint runs yeah <laughs> They did, was there ever an orange one? I don't remember. I think there was, no? The orange, orange scale, G paramilitary too, was there? Yeah, they have all different steels. I think the, I think the yeah. blue one is M390, orange yeah, yeah, yeah. But was there I orange? Think CTX, I think there was, no? XHP. Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh yeah, one of those, I think, yeah. The carbon fiber is, I think, S90V. Yeah, that, that one, I know, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one, the carbon fiber and S90V. Man, they are always so expensive on the secondary market. Oh, the sp sprint, be, yeah. sprint, just generally sprint run para tools. I love para tool, one of my favorite knives. Yeah, they have the S35 in the S35 and is in the. What is that? Yeah, I don't even know. That's the one that they, the guy, the, somebody just offered Hopefully me a trade. trade yeah. I would love to. I gotta ask Jeff if he's fine with that. Somebody offered me a trade, which is really cool for me. But we'll see. I have to. I have to ask permission of my, of my. Tough thumbs. <laughs> Your tough friend. <laughs> tough friend. Tough. He's not that tough. <laughs> I have tougher thumbs than he does. There's another thing I picked up. I want to experiment a little bit with that, let's say, steampunk team. I want to try this on the EDC also. This is what the uh, silicon, silicon bronze. I don't know if it's just a regular bronze, why is it called silicon, but it could be pretty cool to put it as a scale and like maybe do some hammered pattern or something into it we'll see it's gonna be heavy but it shouldn't be that bad it's maybe just a little heavier than if it was titanium it's such a small little scale and another cool experiment i want to do is actually i picked up some what is it called Bron phosphor bronze you know the tin stuff what they cut the the washers from yeah here it is i picked up some of that they had this on sale, it was like a dull actually, it was price 5 but it was on sale for dull and tin titanium and I wanna try, I wanna see how it goes with some good epoxy, probably the one the steel reinforce from uh, JB Weld I wanna do layer, titanium uh, phosphor bronze, titanium phosphor bronze and cut the scales from it and I think it will be pretty cool if the epoxy holds good, if I do it right it would be, it would be, have, it would be pretty cool effect after you anodize it, no? Like, yeah. it will be blue and gold, blue and gold, kind of gold, no? Like, or a copper like color. We'll see. Yeah, it's kind of a couple different projects I had in mind that I, I had some ideas. We'll see how it goes. I have fun lately. I grounded another one today, too. But just the ground. You see that I kind of fell in love with that. I just think it's very practical. You guys know that my favorite is a Raptor. And this is kind of like a raptor but with the stronger tip and uh, I just think it's very practical. It has a cool look and uh, I mean I kind of always just get, get every time I f do something that I comes out nice like the boobies, I fell in love with it for a couple of days and I just keep doing that one thing over and over. Else, yeah. yeah, and then something else comes along and well, that's good. Nothing you always get that excitement for certain things at least for a little bit and then it kind of like you still like it I love the I love the booby shape the bat from all the shapes I like more aggressive looking stuff so I think that yeah the, I love I love how it looks probably the performance and everything is probably the same the performance is the same I love the looks the only thing is that the tip is finer no yeah. tip is like the finest one all right guys I'm gonna end it I'm gonna take a phone call hope you enjoyed it Bro, thank you for coming. I always have a good time. You're welcome, me too. And I'm pretty sure that we're still gonna hang out. I'm just gonna cut you guys off. <laughs> Take care, stay safe, and remember... Don't, don't cut, cut yourself. <laughs>